<laughs> can Trevathan get back to where he was? Are you seeing indications? He he showed us the scar on his kneecap. He broke his kneecap twice last year, or at least had his knee affected. He was a great rising star, I thought. Led the led the team in tackles. Can he come back to where he was? I don't know. The stability of that kneecap is challenged. He had it repaired, reconstructed. They need his energy. They need his passion. But we haven't seen him in a competitive environment since the Chargers game in December, Woody. Training camp's going to tell the story for me. But right now, it, it, it's, it's a hedge of the bet because sure. it's not a traditional injury. It's not ACL. It's not an MCL. I mean, he had three different injuries to the kneecap area. And that's for a linebacker who has to move laterally. I don't know the answer to that right now. I got to see him in pads. Sure, and these are unfair because OTAs. You're not getting to see practice full right. practices. It's just pure speculation. But that's what we do in time. Brandon Marshall, and you brought him up the other day. Brandon Marshall was going to be fine for the playoff game. He was going to be fine in the off season, and then up cropped what turned out to be a more serious injury. Yeah, Liz Frank, he had to go see Dr. Anderson in Charlotte. Uh, he's the known, he's the, the guru of Liz Frank surgeries and ankles. He did Derek Jeter's ankle surgery. He has to have two pin, two uh, screws in his foot throughout the season because the surgery was performed so late. Hey, ideally, he would have had that surgery in January. He had it March 11th because whether you say it was misdiagnosed or whatever, it didn't respond to time down. And I don't think he'll be playing in preseason. He said he doesn't need to because it's a new defense. He'd like to, Woody. But I see a situation with him not unlike Chris Harris last year where he does very little in the preseason in hopes of being ready for the season opener.